there's a disturbing trend happening with these AI assistants, these chat assistants and search assistants, all this artificial intelligence driven stuff that's being created these days. When AI was brand new and ChatGPT was brand new, first arrived on the scene, of course, it was notorious for giving bad information, misinformation, sometimes dangerous information as answers to the user. And, you know, we thought this would get better over time, but it really hasn't. All these AI assistants, they're still, in some cases, giving very dangerous answers to their user base. Now, as somebody that has two different YouTube channels right now, I have my Linux related channel, and of course I have my financial related channel, and AI is a dominant topic of discussion in both those areas. So all of my news articles that I read, whether it be tech related or whether it be uh, stock market related and things like that, you know, there's so much AI news. And here recently I came across several articles all talking about the same thing. And what they're talking about is the fact that all of these AI assistants uh, give really bad information and you really can't trust them. And in some cases, these AIs, they're giving information that could actually hurt you or even kill you. So a couple of the articles that popped up in my news feed here in the last couple of days were uh, this article here from How To Geek, which is uh, Google search says you should eat glue and use gasoline and spaghetti. And another one that popped up in my news feed was the CNN article. Google search AI falsely says that Obama is a Muslim and now it's turning off some results. So the problem with these AI assistants is, you know, they are gathering all of this information so they can answer your questions. But a lot of the answers that it has in these these databases, some of these answers were not true when they gathered it. For example, the fact that uh, Barack Obama is a Muslim. Of course, he's not a Muslim. He's a Christian. That's what he identifies at. He goes to a Christian church. But a lot of people on the internet falsely believed he was a Muslim. So a lot of people posted on the internet that, in fact, Barack Obama is a Muslim. So it's not unusual that some of these AI assistants, you know, such as Google's search AI, you know, there for a short time was repeating that false information. One of the problem with Google search AI and with ChatGPT is a lot of the information they draw up on comes from sources like, for example, tech related things or uh, Stack Overflow, for example, it pulls from, but not everything that gets posted on Stack Overflow is correct information. Same thing with Google's search AI. So much of its search results are pulled from people that answered the question on forums like Quora. And Quora is filled with a lot of bad information. But again, how, how does the AI know what is actually true answers and false answers when it's building its database, you know, when, it, when it's trying to learn, right? And that is the issue. So when Google search was recommending people eat glue, what it was is people were asking about pizza recipes and it was advising people to add one eighth of a cup of non-toxic glue to their pizza sauce. And why was Google search recommending that? Well, it probably came from a joke Reddit comment from the year 2013. Somebody posted a Reddit thread with a joke recipe about adding Elmer's glue to their pizza sauce. And for whatever reason, you know, this Google search assistant, you know, was treating that information as if it was actually gospel, <laughs> like that was a real pizza recipe when in fact it was just a joke. Apparently people had Google search also recommending that they eat a certain amount of rocks per day as part of a, a healthy diet. Some people were recommended that they should eat insects and uh, <laughs> there's all kinds of weird things that Google, uh, that their search, their new AI search assistant has recommended. For example, when one person asked if adding gasoline to your spaghetti made it cook faster, Google actually answered it correctly. No, you can't use gasoline to cook spaghetti faster, but then it added this on. It said, but you can use gasoline to make a spicy spaghetti dish. So apparently if you want your spaghetti uh, uh, hot and spicy, you can add a little gasoline to it. Some other bad answers included uh, information on how to quickly pass kidney stones. Uh, apparently all you have to do is drink two quarts of urine every 24 hours. And from the CNN article, other than just giving bad information uh, on political things, like the religion of certain political figures, such as Barack Obama, they found that Google search uh, answered questions wrong about food. For example, how much sodium is in pickle juice? It grossly underestimated how many milligrams of sodium was in pickle juice. Again, where are the answers coming from? 
who knows? But one thing to note, and I found this in my own research, is you know, anytime I asked ChatGPT anything, or I did a video a couple of months uh, about the Leo Assistant inside the Brave browser because they have this chat assistant inside Brave now called Leo, and, and this thing also has some weird issues where anytime you ask these chat GPT like assistants a question, if it's not something very black and white binary, yes or no, right? If there's anything that's a, a nuanced question that has some wiggle room, some middle ground, these things have a problem answering those kinds of questions. Ultimately, I think where we're going to have to head with all of this is that everyone should have the ability to configure their own chat assistants for our own personal biases or what we consider actual fact as far as news related sources that we consider accurate and those that eh, we, we'd rather not pull from. For example, I don't want my chat assistant to pull answers from Quora.com and treat everything that gets answered over there as fact, when I know that most of the answers on a site like that are not, in fact, factual. All that being said, I actually am a fan of AI. I like this new industry, all the technology that's uh, arising from it. I actually like ChatGPT and its various clones because I do think it does provide some very useful information as somebody that's, you know, focused on educating the masses on Linux and technology and finance and a variety of topics. I actually find ChatGPT actually rather useful in that area. For those of you wanting to learn more about Linux, for example, you could ask ChatGPT some Linux related questions such as explain the Linux file system hierarchy. And you can see I get a nice, well detailed response here. It even gives me uh, you know, the root file system as far as slash bin slash boot slash dev and all of that. It's going to explain what each individual directory does. I mean, this is great. I mean, this is an extremely useful tool. For those of you unsure about certain command line tools, such as some of the GNU core utils, uh, give me five examples of using the awk command. And I'll specify in Linux, just in case, you know, the operating system might matter if you know, BSD is different than Linux, for example. And this was great, right? It gives me five different use cases of how you could use Alk for various tasks. See, I am not anti-AI like so many people in the Linux space. I don't understand so many people in Linux and free and open source software seem to be really against the whole idea of AI. And I actually think AI could actually be one of the most important breakthroughs and one of the biggest advances in human education and eventually human achievement. Of course, all that being said, we do need these things to improve. We, we need them to improve drastically because right now, if your chat assistant is advising you to add gasoline to your spaghetti recipe and glue to your pizza recipe, then that's a problem. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. And of course, I'm talking about Matt, James, Steve, Armor Dragon, Darloff, Daedalus, GDR, George, Lee, Matthew, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Solastri, Tianren, War, Gentoo, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tier patrons over on Patreon without these guys. Uh, this quick episode about the failures of AI would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.